Now Wake Forest has Rhett Louder on the bump. It is a swinging strike one to Reese Albert. And away we go from the couch in Winston-Salem. His one, two. Then it pulls this one in the left center field, and that splits the gap and gets to the wall. It's a two-strike leadoff double for Pierce Bennett. On the ninth pitch. Ooh. Misses, and another great take by Turconi. And the first two are on for the Deeks in this first inning in front of the biggest star in this Wake Forest lineup. 1,300 so far. First pitch swinging, rolled left side, and Roberts gets the force, and Messick walks the tight rope. Louders 1-2. This is pulled on a line into left, and a fair ball down the line into the corner. Lacey runs well as he speeds to second with a one-out two-bagger in the second. 3-1 pitch is off the edge, and a five-pitch walk worked by Terrell to put two on for the Knolls in the second. The pitch he has spent a lot of time on from freshman to sophomore year as he comes inside running the fastball that hits Jackson Green, and it loads up the bases here in the second. Louder's ready. Snapped off a slider and walked in a run. A walk, an HBP, and another walk. And now Reese Albert goes first pitch swinging, and Florida State will settle for one. And Roberts pulls one through the left side of a hit. It's a one-out single for Brett Roberts here in the third off Louder. 3-2. And that is off speed again. Another changeup, but it misses. And so there's two on with one out for Florida State. Here and get the ball on the ground. Instead, lined to right field into the corner, and it's a fair ball. Roberts comes in from second. Tibbs right behind him, the tag is now applied, and they get Tibbs. So he did not touch home plate. Tinsman slaps the tag on him. Florida State gets one, but that's out number two. Boy, just a hanging two-seamer up and out over the plate. And how about Logan Lacey, his second double of the game. First one on a breaking ball to left. Now a fastball out over the plate to right. And let's see this play at the plate here. Corona with a great job of getting the ball to Tinsman. And I think he touches it, Mike. So if the tag wasn't applied, the hand definitely got to the plate. And you see Tibbs is like, what are we doing here? Like, I touched it. And home plate umpire David Savage does not agree, but I think they're going to win here on this replay. Out at the plate. So they say the call stands, which, again, that's different from confirms. Oh, two again. Got him swinging. Danny Corona drives one in the air. Right center field and gone! Solo shot for Danny Corona. And Wake Forest is on the board against Parker Messick. There you go. That's what they were looking for. Something, a bright light, a, a chance, a glimmer of hope. And how about the young freshman? of the home run celebration there where they're not doing the lazy home run helmet tap. Get a fastball up and let it rip, young fellow. That's the one we've been talking about that he throws and looks just so invincible when he does it. But a beautiful move through the baseball and a bullet. Four-pitch walk. Mm. Bennett's been on all three times against Messick, including three passes the last two. 1-0 to Turconi. Flares this one into center, and it dumps down for a base hit. Bennett on his way to third, and Wake Forest has him at the corners. Messick's 0-2. And Ciceri lays off of that one. Tarconi moved up to second, so now two in scoring position for Wake. 1-2. Pulled hard into right field, a base hit. 
Bennett scores, Turconi right behind him, and Wake Forest vaults in front. You know, I got on Red Louder for the, the walk to Colton Vincent, and the same thing is true here. It just doesn't feel like the right pitch, Mike. A breaking ball out over the plate, and Boy, you got to give Ciceri a bunch of credit for going down and getting it and ripping it into right field. But that looked like that you had the perfect opportunity to go back to the fastball up. No swing from Tinsman and the throw down to second gets Ciceri. And the inning is over. Runs in this game back in the fifth inning. Brandon Tinsman goes first pitch swinging and hits one in the left center. So he's on with a leadoff single in the sixth. Kurtz the batter, 0 for 2 with a ground out and a strikeout against Messick. And this one gets past Vincent. And Tinsman moves up 90. Mid-90s fastball. And the 2-2 is the slider. And it's rolled past the mound. And Green doesn't get it there in time. So a ground ball to the right side. Jake Reinish is the DH out of the eighth spot. First pitch swinging in the left. And Wake Forest adds on. Tinsman scores. Reinish delivers. And the lead is two for the Deeks. To get it out to the pool side. Ooh, Corona twice. yanks this one on a line to right. And that ball is gone. It's Ooh. a three-run shot for Danny Corona. His second jack in as many innings. Have a ball game, young man. My goodness, on a couple left-handers. Oh, get the handoff and take it to the house. How about a breaking ball that kind of sits there on the inner third of the plate, drop the head and let it rip? A fastball in his last at bat that he hit into the right center field trees and now a one iron over the right field wall. He's flexing. ACC Network. Stick around for the back half of our baseball doubleheader with Boston College in Miami as Nick Kurtz gets clipped and he's aboard. Team candidate stands in. And he slaps one to a diving Jordan Carrion who can only knock it down in the first two of reach for the Demon Deacons. The league, I mean. That's high and they're loaded up. First three of reach for Wake Forest in the last of the eighth inning. Feels like he's going to put another good swing on one. And he pulls it past the right side into right field. Kurtz is in with Hawk right behind him. Safe at third ray. And the big day indeed continues for Danny Corona. How about it? And again, these days just come your way sometimes. That's just a ground ball to second base. But when you're up with the bases loaded, and you're, it's late in the ball game, you get the infield in, right? The infield comes in, Corona finds a hole, and when you're having a special day. Team off to a great start. As Bennett walks to load him up here, when it's still nobody out in the eighth inning. A, a very good Salem in his sophomore season. And he rolls the 3-2 softly to short, and a flip, a turn, in time to get two. Carry on Roberts. Combine on the middle infield for a twin killing to get out of a bases loaded spot. Uh oh. On the second pitch of the ninth inning, Brock Mathis unloads. Ooh. The Oklahoma State transfer goes deep for the second consecutive weekend. Bringing some pop to the catcher spot for Florida State. Well, that's kind of swing of the bat that might land you in the lineup the next day. Brock Mathis, time at LSU, time at Oklahoma State. How about stand up on one, young man? Look at this. The old, ooh, yep, gotcha. And that is a no doubter anywhere, but especially ooh. at the couches. Crumb's seventh pitch of the plate appearance. Mm. South of the knees. It was certainly a marginal pitch. It could have gone either way. Oh, boy. 
Jaime Ferrer gets hit with the first one he sees. So homer, walk, hit, batter. 3-2. And a walk to Lacey. So it loads him up. Two walks and a hit batter in this inning. Payoff pitch. And that is strike three called. Crumb punches out Bush to end it. And Wake Forest begins ACC play with a win over the number eight team in the country. He goes back to the breaking ball here. And, you know, a little backdoor breaking ball there to get him off the field. And Wake Forest with a big game one statement to beat one of the elite pitchers in all of college baseball.